Welcome back. So we're going to run through our warm-ups just like we do in class. No pause. If you need to, go ahead and shake out in between. I'm just going to flow right through with three repetitions of everything. So we begin by finding chima repetition. Um, I'm sorry. We begin by finding ready position, feet shoulder width, firmly planted on the ground. Knees bent a little, hips tucked forward a little, lifting the pelvic floor, elongating the spine from the crown of the head. The arms are out and round at the sides. We should feel tall and strong, but relaxed at the same time. We breathe through the nose. The teeth are together, but not clenched. And the tip of the tongue is on the roof of the mouth behind the upper teeth. Let's begin by sinking into the posture. Relax here and take a few deep breaths with me, sighing out any tension you may have. We begin by blowing out all of our air. And together we inhale deep, deep, deep as much air as we can and exhale. Ah. You have to make the sound or it doesn't work as well. Nice deep inhale. Ah. And again, last one. Ah. Good. Relax here and make sure your feet are fully connected to the earth as we move into our constant bear warm up, gently turning around the central axis of the spine. Letting the arms be as loose as possible, just flopping against the body, driving the motion with the waist, keeping the spine elongated, the teeth together, and breathing slow and deep through the nose. We want to continue to lift from the crown of the head, letting the arms be completely relaxed, flopping against the body, giving us a little massage in the process. So you can go a lot longer if you like, but for this purpose, we're going to just move right in to our next series of warm-ups. We look down at the ground in front of us, letting the hands round in front of the thighs. We look at the fingers through the entire sequence. On the inhale, the arms float up. The head comes up too in front of the shoulders, we tuck the chin down and push the head back as the hands come close on the exhale. Breathe in and turn the palms forward. Watch the fingers go back out in front. Exhale slowly, floating back down in front. As we inhale, there should be no tension in the shoulders. Rising up, we then exhale. It's important to tuck the chin down and back not up. Watch the fingers go back out in front on the inhale and then exhale back down in front again. Breathing deep and slow, we inhale into the lowest parts of the lungs. We exhale, tucking the chin down, pushing the head back. Breathe in and the head will naturally return to neutral as the hands go in front and then exhale down to the ground again. Let the arms round out at the sides, returning to ready position. Take a nice deep inhale, and as you exhale, turn to the right, looking with your eyes, only turning as far as is comfortable. Then we breathe in, turning back to center, relax the gaze. Exhale, turning to the left now, looking with the eyes, only go as far as is comfortable, and then inhale, returning to front, soften the eyes. Exhale, turning to the right, looking as far as feels right for you. Nothing should strain, breathe in, come to center, relax the eyes. Exhale, to the left, looking, but don't give yourself a headache. Look gently. Breathe in, coming to center. Relax your eyes. 
Exhale for the last one to the right, looking, using the eyes to turn and open the neck. We then breathe in, looking in front slowly. Exhale, last one on the left, looking, but don't strain. You should be relaxed. Inhale, coming back to the front. Let the arms come down a little and roll the shoulders backwards. So the idea is not to go fast or to bunch up the shoulders, but rather to loosen muscles around the neck, shoulders, and upper back. So we want to have a smooth, continuous rotation without any kind of hesitation or pause or jerk in the motion. We accomplish this best when we are fully relaxed. And then slowly, we'll come back into small circles and then back into ready. Palms forward. On the inhale, rising up only as high as is comfortable for you. And then we exhale, hands go palm down, center line of the body. As we exhale slowly in time with the movement, the hands wrap back around to the sides. I'm going to step back so you can see my hands a little better. So again, palms forward. We breathe in and imagine we are gathering chi in the arms. And then on the exhale, we shine that energy down the body from the center of the palms, chasing away any dark tension, stress, or worry, back to the sides. On the inhale, it should feel as though your arms are floating as you gather chi. And on the exhale, it should feel just as soft as you chase away any tension with this beautiful light pouring down yourself, pushing out darkness from your feet, back to the sides. Next exercise, we turn the palms to face the front. On the inhale, bend the elbows. On the exhale, turn the hands to face each other. We're going to take a step forward, a little closer. We establish Lao Gong point connection here, palm facing palm. We can take a few breaths or simply move right into the exercise. Breathing in, bringing the right hand on top, left hand on bottom. And then exhale, turning the body to the left, carrying the ball with you. Breathe in, slowly turning. Left hand comes on top. Exhale, carry to the other side without leaning in any direction. Full exhale all the way across where we breathe in. And as we turn the ball, we keep the palms facing. Don't let them disconnect. As we exhale, we press inward between the palms, creating more chi sensation. Breathe in, change hands, bringing left hand on top, slowly in time with the inhale. Exhale, press between hands. The top elbow should be pointing at the ground so that the shoulder can relax. As we inhale, we rotate again, bringing the right hand up to collarbone height, the left hand about the height of lower down to the We exhale, press between hands as we slowly turn in time with the exhale. Breathe in, change hands again. It's as though we're making a perfect ball in the air. And then exhale, turn the body, coming to center now. Relax here. Take a nice deep inhale and rotate. Left hand palm up, right hand palm down. Exhale, press up and down, keeping a slight bend in both elbows. We then turn the palms to face each other. On the inhale, the hands come together. At the chest, they pass. Right hand palm up, left hand palm down as we press between heaven and earth. Breathe in, palms face each other. It's as though we are compressing chi. At the chest, they switch, left hand goes up, exhale, press to the sky. 
Breathe in and draw the palms back, facing slowly with the deep inhale. As the hands pass, we rotate palms facing happy earth on the exhale. A gentle stretch. Inhale, draw the hands together again in front of the chest. Now pause. Rotate the arms so they're parallel to the earth. Exhale, palms down. Slowly lower back down to the sides. Ready position. Now we begin to challenge the balance a little more. We're going to shift all of the weight onto the right foot first, nice and solid on that right foot. We step forward with the left heel as the hands push behind like a counterbalance. We come to center, and then the toes go back as the hands come in front. And back to center. You can touch if you need to for balance, or you can just keep your foot in the air as we simply change back behind us and then in front. If you choose to touch heel to the ground, try to use as little weight as possible. Same in center and same in back. Now, Bring that left foot in, shoulder width, float it down. Shift all of your weight onto it. Feel yourself sink into your full left side. And when you have your balance and you're ready, we step forward lightly, lightly touching the right heel as the hands go back, and then to center, and then toes back as hands rise, and then back to center. Focusing our attention on the left foot as we sink further into it. Establishing a solid base on the left side of the body in which to move. Heel forward. You can touch or leave in the air. And center. And then toes back. Hands rise. Float that right foot in. Touch it down softly. Shoulder width. Come to center now. Relax for a moment because we're going right at it again. Palms forward, breathe in, bend the elbows. Make those open fists palm up and bring them into the hips. But don't strain. Keep your elbows back, but relax here. Shift all your weight to the right foot, and when you have your solid connection, kick forward with the left toes, punching, spiraling the right fist palm down. Then bring the foot and fist back in at the same time. Shift the weight all to the left, find your balance. Kick out right toes, punch left fist spiraling forward. And back to center. Shift the weight to the right. And you can leave your foot in the air if your balance is very good, or you can touch the heel. It's up to you. Come back to center. Shift all the way to the left, and when you have that solid connection, kick forward with right toes, punch left fist. Remember, we always keep a bend in the knee and the elbow, and bring both back in to center. Shift all the way to the right now, and step forward with your left foot, floating the heel down, let the toe go flat so the foot is flat, and then shift forward a little as we punch with the right fist. Keep the right foot connected. The heel stays down. We don't lean forward or back. We shift all the way back on to the right foot, bringing in the left foot as slow as comfortable. Shifting all the way to the left foot, we then step forward, floating right heel down, toes go down, shift the weight, Punch, don't lean, keep a bend in the elbow. Left heel stays down, we bring all our weight back onto it. Step back slowly. Weight on left foot, I'm sorry, right foot. Step forward, left heel, left toe goes down. When the foot is flat, shift the weight onto it, punch. Shift the weight back, bring the fist. Stepping back slowly. All the weight on your strong left side. It's easy to float that left heel to the ground. Foot goes flat. We shift, punch. Don't let the knees go over the toe. 
Come back onto your strong left foot. Peel up the right foot, stepping in. Double weight on feet. Relax the hands. We're going to take a little step back here. Bring the hands onto the hips. Make sure you still have good spinal alignment. Shift all the weight onto the center of the left foot. When you have your balance, touch right, I'm sorry, left heel, left toe. Left heel, left toe. Left heel, left toe. And stepping back, shift all the way to the left side. When you have your balance, touch right heel, pull toe to sky. Touch toe, pull heel up. Touch heel, pull up toe. Touch toe, pull up heel. Heel down, and then toe down. Bring back that left right foot. Shift all your weight onto it. And once you feel solid, extend your left foot touching the outside and then the inside. Remember, don't use your knee or hip to do the movement. It should come from the ankle. The inside touches, and then it turns to touch the outside. Bring all your weight back onto that left foot. Nice and solid, we extend right foot touching the outside, then inside. Outside, and inside. Outside, and inside. Step back, shoulder width, double weight. Shake out your hands a little. Clasp them and bring them up in front of the chest. The elbows point down. We're making a triangle here in front. We imagine we're holding a ball in our hands, and we slowly rotate the hands around this ball, opening up the wrists gently. We'll do just a few rotations here. Try to relax. Try to keep the open hands around the ball and the elbows pointed at the ground. After a few, reverse. Keep the elbows pointed at the ground. Don't let the palms collapse. Space under the hands. Slowly open your hands. And slowly look. Shake out hands, shake out feet. Excellent. We're done with the warm-ups. 